I've seen a significant increase in the number of transgender patients who've come to my office in the last few years. These are patients whose external anatomy does not match their gender identity. And these patients usually come to us after a long journey, which can be painful sometimes. So our staff is trained in dealing with transgender patients. I am a member of the World Professional Association for Transgender Health. and We follow their guidelines and criteria in the treatment and management of our patients. The patients are very diverse, so the surgeries are very diverse. For patients coming in that are trans male, going from female to male, there are a lot of different procedures and we have to tailor that procedure to that particular patient and their needs. Probably the most common procedure I perform is a double incision pre-nipple graft procedure. In that procedure, the breast tissue is removed, the scar is placed in the lower portion of the chest, the nipple and areola are removed, reduced in size for a more male contour, and then place this on as a skin graft. The patient does have a fairly significant scar, but most of the patients in a year or so are comfortable changing clothes in a gym, going outside without a shirt on. That really allows them to just to be normal, and that's what their goal is in this procedure. For trans women, the procedure we perform is breast augmentation. It's a procedure that plastic surgeons commonly perform but it's different in transgender patients. The anatomy's a little bit different, the chest wall can be different, so we have to make accommodations for that to have a result that looks good long term. So patients really need to find a surgeon who is experienced in treating transgender patients. Seeing these patients accept themselves and to be able to move on with their lives has been among the most gratifying patients that we've dealt with in my practice.